Morning guys and welcome to another video. Do you ever feel like you're getting watched? <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing the Grey Corries, another classic walk. Today's walk is about 13 miles long and takes the three minerals. It is cloudy just now, but I think it's going to clear later in the day. I stopped off at the Commando Memorial in Spean Bridge and I could see the tops of today's minerals. So I better make a start on today's long walk. So I actually forgot to mention it here, but the wooden sculpture beside me is known as the Wee Minister, and he's supposed to bring good fortune to everyone who passes this way. There's also a donation box here for Loch Aber Mountain Rescue. Right guys, just a little update. That was a bit relentless. The first bit of a setup here. But it's leveled out a bit. And have a look at these views. Wow. You can see the grey corries ahead and the ridge going across. Absolutely glorious. I can't wait to get on top of the ridge and see what the views are like from up there. Wow, take a look at this. Wow, what a view there is from up here. This is Monroe, number 135. Stob Corrie Collery, and it's 1177 meters high. And the meaning of this hill means peak of the Corrie of the brawling. <laughs> That's a bit of a mouthful. So I'll show you some of the views behind. Out to my right hand side, you can see the Memoir Range in all its glory. It looks magnificent from here. And over to my left hand side, I don't know if you can see it in frame, but it's actually Ben Nevis peeking its head in between. And the ridge itself looks absolutely incredible from here. What a view. Right guys, I'm just making my way along this ridge now. I can see why this is described as a classic walk. It's been amazing so far. And it looks like we've got a little bit of scrambling along the ridge here. It's looking good.
was lost for a wee while. Now I'm home to say goodbye. It got cold and I was lonely. I was thinking. There we go, Monroe 136. And this Monroe is called Stob Corrie and Lewick and it's 1116 metres high. Another fantastic viewpoint onto all the mountains around it. How's that for timing? A cloud just passing as I get the camera out. If you watch my videos, then you'll know that this happens all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna get some lunch here and taking some of the views. So I have to say a quick thank you to Y-Food for giving me some of their products to try on my long days on the Monroes. And they're actually meal replacement shakes. I have to say I'm very impressed. I had a couple of these on the Ben Lore 7 recently and they kept me feeling fuller for longer. Not only that, they are actually really tasty. I highly recommend the classic Choco it was delicious. But there's 500 calories per shake and there's 26 nutrients and vitamins. So slightly healthier than the sausage rolls and stuff that I usually eat on my trips out. So they've kindly given me a discount code of Monroe10 and if you use that on the website, you'll get 10% off any of their products. So this Monroe here is a bit of an out and back and I'll show you here. I'm going to come up to here and then down the ridge and the Monroe's actually over here and you make your way all the way back and the exit's going to be down here. So I made it to the first bump pretty quickly and it started getting really hot from here. So I knew this out and back was going to be a bit of a struggle. Right, just a quick update guys, I'm absolutely knackered, that heat has taken it right out of me. But there's where I've came from, behind, and I'm close to the Monroe now. The downside of this is, I've got to come back this way and up and over that big lump again. But once I've done that, it's pretty much downhill all the way. Well guys, there's the third Monroe today. There's not a lot of room up on this summit cairn, but this is Skur Konig Moor, and it's 1,094 meters high, and it means the big peak of the moss. There seems to be a lot of flies here, so I'm gonna move about a bit, and I'll try and show you some of the views. And I'll swing you around. Here is the two annex. In between, I think that's Carmore Gerag. I could be wrong. Down this way is the Ring of Steel in here with the big pyramid, Skura Vame in the middle. And in this direction must be the Eastern Memoirs with, I think, is it Binion Beg and Binion Moor? I'm not sure. I haven't done them yet. 
But yeah, what a day. Oh man, I think that was the walk out from hell. <laughs> it took about three hours to get down from the last Monroe. So anyway, that's about it for today's video. But before I go, I better rate it out of 10. And I think I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. The views up there are incredible. The only thing I'm a bit disappointed is that I didn't add Stob Ban in. I'm kind of regretting that now because I've seen how far out it's going to be to get it by itself. But anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you'll join me for some Mormon Rose in the next one. <laughs>